In Pixel Mater Pro, you can apply gradients multiple times to create all kinds of colorful effects. To apply the gradient, go over here to the gradient fill, select that, then go up here and select a gradient. Now I've got some gradients I've created already, so I'm just going to select that, use linear, and click the document and drag and apply it. Now, that could be it. You don't have to go any further if you don't wish, but you can also apply it again and again. And you'll notice here, I've got the opacity set to difference. So the gradient clearly isn't the same there. You can see there's no red down there or pinkish red because of difference. But now if I go over here and apply again, you can see now I get another gradient effect. Now this gradient effect, you would not be able to create with just a single gradient. But here you've got this lovely sort of quadrant gradient effect very quickly created in Pixelmator Pro. Now you can use this as a great background design, use it as overlays. You can also combine it with effects and also simply go to file and then down to print or maybe export if you want to export it, but go to print and then print the design off and put it up on your wall because it's a great poster look. Click cancel and you can play again. So I'm just going to add it a few times. Now you can add it too many times Maybe it gets slightly messy the more you get these more extreme sort of distortions here of the lines there. I don't know. I'm going to quit at this point. But what I'm now going to do is I'm going to use this with effects. So you can also continue with this. So just go up here, click the effects up here. And then you've got all these right Then you can go and select one of the standard effects. You've got artistic, all those ones, cosmic. Maybe go with cosmic and simply click there. And you can see the effect applied. And you've got a variety of different effects all bundled in that effect. You can undo and then go back here, maybe go with artistic and then select this one to create something like that. And again, that combines multiple effects. Undo again. What you can also do is go to effects and simply just use add effects. So click here, maybe go for something like this one, generator, or go with fill. But my favorite tile you can see you've got there some examples as it's doing it and i'm going to go with this one shutter so click that and now click here and now you can modify the origin so you can move this around now the result sometimes might be good might not be something like that very quickly from a very basic gradient and you can of course modify this setting the width cute angle as well as well as the angle here to create again a variety of different effects now I'm just going to do those, go back to this. Or I can also still modify it even more, maybe distort it. So apply effects such as add effect, and then you've got distortions. So you might decide on a displacement map. So just click there, and then obviously you can add a displacement. I'm just going to use the one that's the default, but you can always choose a displacement map. And then you can scale it, and you can modify the amount. And you can see then you get this sort of distortion of your original gradient. And you can also modify the smoothness. In this case, probably best to keep it down at zero. So that's all you need to do. All we need to do is go to File and New. And with that, create another document. And again, go to the Gradient tool, Gradient Fill, select that, and then Apply. And again, always best select maybe a more colorful one, but you can go with any of the basic ones that come, like Pastel. So you select that one. Again, linear by default, but I'm going to go with radial. So click there and then apply it there. Again, it's applied as difference. You don't have to use difference. You could always apply it as normal. And that's the easiest way just to apply it once. So if I apply again, you can see each time it will put it in different areas. Also, another great thing is you've got here transparent as well. So transparent, and you've got these. So transparent, click there, linear by default. So you can see then you might get a lovely sort of I don't know, sunset or whatever. Got a lovely effect that way. Maybe green down there, you get that. Or go up here and go with the radial. So you can add very quickly sort of designs like that. And it's also a great way of creating a ring design. So I've got an example here. So if I click down here, go to Andrew, you can see I've got a ring design. So a ring gradient can be created very quickly as well. Very easy by using the stops like this. So you've got transparency here. So set that to zero and also set that to also zero. You can see through with transparent and you've got these at solid 100%. And then you can apply it very quickly like that to create all kinds of designs. Also, if you want, you maybe click here, change the color, maybe make it black, 
and apply like that to get a lovely sort of shadow effect very quickly using your gradient as well. And you can apply these multiple times, maybe fill the entire design with these sort of spots. And of course you don't have to go with pink, you could change the colors to greens, blues, maybe rainbow colors and so much more. And of course these designs can also be applied say on a layer and then modified. So you can go over here to the layers, add a layer. So just go over here, insert an empty layer, click there. Now apply it and you've got that design. Apply just to a layer. With this, you can then manipulate it. So select the move tool and you can reposition it. Maybe also modify it using effects as well. So you can go over here, click here again, add effects. Let's go for a lovely displacement. I think that's probably gonna be maybe this one. And you can see the result there. Click there in the presets and you've got that design. And again, move tool, you can reposition it. You can also hold down the ultra option key and drag and duplicate the design. So you can get multiple copies of this ring distorted design and then move it around like that. And of course then at that point, you can always decide, I want to actually flatten all of the effects, flatten all of the image to create, well, something you can then go up to file and again print or file and export, or just use it as a background, a displacement map as well. It's always great for displacement maps and also maybe as an overlay for any kind of image. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Also, all thoughts about Pixelmator Pro, always great to hear. Do you think this application is brilliant or do you use it in particular for certain types of things? Do you combine it also with motion? That's something I've been doing. Now it's a pity that some of the features I think could be even smoother between Pixelmator Pro and motion, but it's hopefully at some point you will be able to sort of blend stuff in much easier. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Always add new tutorials about Photoshop, Pixelmator Pro, of course, Finti Photo, and many other applications as well. Bye.